Okay, folks, we have our gonna, we're gonna be getting the mouse soon. Um, we're doing this a, the day late because I kind of couldn't get it yesterday. It's what she said. Um. Anyway, whoops. So. Uh, yeah. Are you okay, dude? Brain freeze. Okay, bye. Hello and welcome to the 10th installment of the stunning documentary series, People with Way Too Much Spare Time. <laughs> I'm, sp I'm the special guest host and star, Chris. And oh, right. Here we have Daniel. Say hello, Daniel. Hi. And here we have our latest victim. I mean, food. <laughs> he's brown. Yes, he's brown. Thank you for this stunning revelation, Daniel. Shh, eat my ass, okay? Well then, moving right along from that, we have just left the living safari where we purchased this fellow. Do we have a name for him this week? I should have asked Curtis that. <sighs> name pending. Name pending, a stunning name. No, no, no. Name pending. Not the actual, That's not the actual name. Name will be pending. So Daniel, have you come up with a name for our lovely name pending yet? No, but he didn't poo. He didn't poo? Oh, how exciting. I know, right? Whoops. <laughs> I totally whacked him on the other side of it. I am a bad killer. You're about to feed him to your snake. I don't really know that we're too concerned about if he gets a little jostled along the way. Okay, I have thought of a name. His name is Ingleton. Ingleton the second. Ah, he's so scared. Aww. Wouldn't you be scared of some bastard been throwing you around a little white box all afternoon? I'm sorry, I stopped a little hard. Oh. If anyone is upset about the shaky camera work, you should blame it on Daniel, because he found the one Asian man in the world who doesn't know how to handle a camera. See, I did not say that one. See, it's okay because he said it, and he's Asian. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Don't go back up there. It's what she said. There you go. See, look at that. He's so small and tiny and gonna die. There he goes. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, he's getting quick on the. He's hungry on today. The attack, yeah. He peed. What is my problem with that? Dude. Seriously. Oh, he's wow. got a fight in him. He has got a fight in him. Look at that. He's got the head, so. Probably can't breathe right now. Yeah, and the reason they pee, Daniel, is because when you're faced with a near-death situation, this happens with humans, too. You release your bowels. Your, well, your body releases all unnecessary muscle function to conserve energy so that you can, you know, run more quickly or whatever. See, I didn't know that. I just know that yeah. you release your bowels on yeah. the approach of death. Well, it's a interesting way of doing things. There he is. That's the head right there. There you go. That, oh, yeah. There's an ear. I think he was hungry. Bad father for taking a day longer. I'm sorry. It'll be on Wednesday next week. I promise. For those of you who don't know, Daniel usually feeds his uh, companion on Wednesdays. But due to him being an incredibly lazy ass... It's, it's true. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not. It's just the fact of the matter, you know. Uh -huh. we, are, we are filming this on a Thursday. <laughs> I'm... He let his child go hungry so he could get a few extra hours of sleep. I was tired! And I... We'll save this video for social services in case you ever become a father. Ah! Oh, ass. Whoops. Get as close up your lips. My bad. See, see that's, that's why I make the gay jokes. Because <laughs> you just stare at my lips. Well, they're sexy. I'm sorry. God. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm a little gay right now. That explains a lot, actually. I'm sure Curtis will have something to say to that. Nothing whatsoever. Anyway, now you're blocking my view, dude. Blocking my view. I guess we're not gonna stop yet, because he's actually consuming, so he's he's not being slow. This I was gonna say, he's already got like half of him in there. And folks, just a random uh, 
thought. But everyone seems to think that the fitting here is larger than he actually is. When they see him in real life, he's, they're like, oh, he's so tiny. It's what she said. He's just a baby. I've had him a mm, little over two months now. And I think he was barely new when I got him. He was the smallest one that they had. And Daniel does have a tendency to always opt for the smallest. Yeah, he's only like a foot, a foot and a half, right? Yeah, he's about 18 inches long. Um, I think maybe 19 now. He and does like showing off for the camera. <laughs> he really does. And he's probably about three inches wide. So he's grown about an inch or so long and half an inch wide. Plus, I've noticed he flares a little bit when he's hunting, so he looks bigger when he's eating. Flares? How, how do you mean? Like he just, uh, he puffs out, so he looks bigger. <laughs> oh, I never actually didn't notice that. This, folks, may be the shortest film we have because he ate that pretty damn fast. And we didn't get the car scenes because me and, me and Chris seem to have issues with filming. But Curtis seems to be pro at it for some reason. Anyway, folks, I think we are done here. Oh, that was weird. It's like half a head. There we go. Better. Okay. Bye. Ow! <laughs> I hit myself in the head on the refrigerator door. Say bye. Bye. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna... See ya! My face is really close to the camera. Okay, bye!